All right, so briefly let's talk about creating files and folders, renaming and moving files and folders. Now, just a word of caution, if you're working with a professional application, uh, especially something creative, let's say like Adobe Photoshop or even Adobe Premiere Pro, if you're using an application like that, um, those files and folders should stay where they are and keep the same names while you're working on the project. If you go back and the files and the folders have moved or and the names have changed, Adobe Premiere Pro and other applications will not know and they won't be able to find those files. So just something to keep in mind as you uh, go about doing this. Now creating folders is very simple. You simply navigate into the area that you wanna have the new folder, you right click and then you can say new and folder. Now you can also create other types of media in File Explorer doing this. Um, but uh, let's just focus on the folder for now. So when you create a new folder, you'll have the immediate opportunity to go ahead and name that anything that you would like. So we'll just leave this new folder here. Now you can move this folder anywhere else in the system. All you have to do to do that is to right click on it and then say cut. Now, if you want to keep the contents here and then also have them available somewhere else, there are two different ways that you can do that. So for one, you can say copy. And then after you create that copy, you can go into another section and then right click and then say paste. And what that's doing is it's actually creating two instances of that very same folder. And this will also work exactly the same when you are moving a file. Now the other way that you can do this is, let me go ahead and create a new folder again here. The other way that you can do this is to create a new folder uh, or go to an existing folder or file and then say create shortcut. So when you create a shortcut, I'm just getting a notification here that the shortcut needs to be placed somewhere other than the folder that I'm in. So essentially a shortcut is just a link, sort of like a link on a website. Um, when you click on that shortcut, it's going to take you to that location of that folder or that file. So rather than create a new instance of that, which would take a lot more memory, um, this would just give you a link or a quick way to get access to that folder or that file. So if you have a particular file that you need to use often or a particular folder, rather than creating a copy and moving the entire thing to your desktop, what you may wanna do is create a shortcut instead.